You know, here at Dirt Tracks, 10 years ago, we set out to prove that a Yamaha Grizzly could be turned into a very capable sport utility ATV, something like a Polaris Scrambler or a Can-Am Renegade. And the results that we came up with were really surprising. And now, 10 years later, we thought, why not do an anniversary build to see if the new 2024 Yamaha Grizzly is still a worthy ATV to make a bit sportier? And if all the changes it's seen over the last decade produce an even better, sportier Grizzly, when we pull out all the stops and really have some fun. Now, keeping in mind that, like our first build, we aren't touching engine internals and the frame is staying stock, but otherwise, it's pretty much no holds barred. So the first step that I took, and you may have seen this on social media, was to remove some of the plastics. I did this 10 years ago as well, and it's quite surprising how much sporty or grizzly can look with just a little bit of Dremel work. By removing the racks and a whole bunch of plastic and trying to stick to the stock cut lines in those plastics, it gave a pretty cool edgy look. Step two was to take off a bunch more front bumper parts and get ourselves to a place that still offered some protection, but a more scrambler and renegade look. I think we were able to accomplish that, and we also dropped almost 30 pounds of weight in the process. Now, making the Grizzly sportier is key, but it also needs to have the functionality. And so I knew that the first thing I needed to do was call D3 Off-Road Fabrication in Southern Ontario to really get this build started off right. We did a WR700 feature that was like 10, it was exactly 10 years ago actually. We're doing sort of a throwback build with the new, the new vehicle and this one is just so much nicer. Like yeah. everything's evolved, everything's better. Fit and finish, quality, um, you know, the ergonomics of it, the suspension, everything is so much better. The engine's better. Yep. So we thought, why not do a throwback build and do the exact same thing, um, but better. Yeah, the last time I took a <laughs> YFZ450, front yeah. bumper that we had kicking around in yep. the shop. It was yep. like just sitting there. Just a little there. tube thing. Oh yeah, dude, it was this is the small one that came up and had like the two little wings on it. Yeah. So having you do this for us is gonna be awesome. I think it's really cool to be able to get rid of the factory bumper and kind of, you know, let you do your thing up front. Yep. Um, yep. Make it look good and yep. work good. Yeah, more functional, that'll be cool. You were talking about uh, Nerf style footwell and we saw the one outside. It looks pretty awesome. Yep, so I can make some plates in here. So we have cool. a new technology here at the shop. It's a 3D laser scanner. Cool. So I can actually laser scan this and oh, awesome. try and make it fit really, really well. Cool. Yeah, that'll be cool. It'll finish it off a bit and just uh, just add some some style and some uh, some functionality too. So that'll yeah. be great. Yeah, no, that'll awesome. be sweet. After we got our custom parts back from D3, we sent them to JP Powder Coating in Kitchener, Ontario to have them sprayed in a nice textured black finish that's gonna be super durable. This is the most durable powder coat that we could get and will ensure that the parts fit in nicely and stay looking good for years to come. Now, all of them are aluminum anyway, so even if we do get some bumps and bruises, they won't bleed rust and they're very light. The powder coating turned out really nice and the parts look totally custom, but built and coated to a professional high-end standard. These two shops really pulled out all the stops for us and delivered first-class custom upgrades. And to show you just how nicely all of this stuff fits up to the Grizzly, I'm gonna go ahead and mount it right now. So let's get this build started. The front bumper, we wanted to have a bit more attitude, but more importantly, functionality to not leave the front of the Grizzly completely exposed. The D3 bumper is strong, but light, and it fits in with the stock lines of the Grizz front end. We can grab from this point if needed, and we don't have to worry about hurting anything as this bumper is masterfully welded and very sturdy. And while I'm speaking about sturdy, the front fenders on the Grizzly don't move as much as our first build, the WR700, which if you watch that, you'll realize flapped around like they wanted to take off. But I wanted to make sure that this time, whether we keep the headlights or get rid of them, I had some secure fenders up front. So D3 made me these nice little brackets that are going to get rid of that problem we experienced first time around. Again, D3 made us a custom fender bracket that bolts the original location where the rack mounted and gives us a bolt through mounting point in the fender to hold them secure. They go on easy and fit up perfectly and will ensure that the front fenders don't start looking like Dumbo's ears. Now, the part that I'm most excited about is the custom fab footwells. I've used ones like this before in our mud build, but they were built out of steel and for a much different purpose. D3 built us these beautifully laser cut and welded aluminum footwells and designed them off the 3D mapped stock footwells so that everything lines up perfectly. 
All the stock plastic mounts match up, and even the foot pads that they designed are in the proper location for your foot positioning. The Black's textured powder coat is perfect, and to be honest, this whole piece is of the quality that if you told me that this was a factory GYTR part, i believe you, except it has the V3 logo. These guys did such a great job with these. We have increased protection and strength with a fully custom look that really didn't gain in weight almost at all because of the aluminum and the cutouts. And if we do choose to race this thing in the end, I feel confident this is a better, safer footwell. Working with companies like D3 Off-Road Fabrication as well as JP Powder Coating means that we get really high quality products in the end. Now make sure you stay tuned to all of our future build series and in particular the next one which is gonna feature suspension, wheels and tires as well as underbody protection.